What's up everybody, it's Wandering Hippie and welcome to the Hippie Circle. We're up here in New York for the second episode of the Comprehensive Guide series and this one's going to be dedicated to Pike from the Shoreline. Now, in the previous video we already went over the gear, so I'm just going to give some species specific tips and we're going to get started. The first one is that the, these pike bite really well when it's bright and sunny and they bite really well on cloudy days not so much on rainy days rainy days is going to be for pike and the sauger here doesn't mean you can't catch them during the sunny days but you're going to catch more of them on your cloudy and your rainy days so sunny days pike all day the second one is pike are a shallow predator they like shallow water they like weeds they like timber they like rocks they like shoreline structure prominent shoreline structure um, as far as bait fishing for them you're going to need to use minnows shiners uh, lure fishing you're going to use spoons walkers crankbaits nothing above a three alt hook at least for this lake and you're going to want to try stop and go in the middle of the water column. And that's what we're going to try to focus on today. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started and let me show you the spots. So we're going to start out here. We're going to go to Dock of Peace. I'm going to show you this first spot. And this first spot is a minnow fishing spot. So we're going to just go out here and throw a minnow. All right, here at the dock of peace, we're going to walk right over here. We're going to take out our minnow rod, which is our Nero, 14 foot. Notice I've got a two alt hook on there. And you want to be between 30 and 40 inches. So I like 30 inches myself. And right there's our spot, right at the weed edge. And you just want to try to get it as close to that weed edge as you can without hanging up. And now we wait. And keep an eye on that float because they like to chase it. There's one. There's one. There's a nice one. First fish of the day. And there they are guys there's there they are off the first spot now you can use a lure on these guys I'm just using the shiners on this spot because it's a little hard to work a lure that short difference There's another one. Ooh, ooh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yeah. If they've got this Nero bowed like that, you know it's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a nice nice little pipe again right off that again right off that hole there so that's the first hole let me show y'all this second one this second one is up here at this corner you can catch them with lures all through here but we're going to try throwing this minna just as far back up in that little divot as we can. Look at that man run. Look at him run. There he is. a 
another little pike right off that news another spot and you notice I'm catching mostly chain pickerel if you want to catch the other ones you use small minnows but the the chain pickerel and the northern pikes want shiners right back up in that spot There's another one. There's a good one right there. I think he's a baby, but you can catch him. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. That's a that's a good fish, guys. Especially for this setup, that's a good fish. These pike pay pretty well too, so. got here. Nice pike. Beautiful pike. Now, all right. I've shown y'all how to do the lures. I mean, how to do the uh, bait. So, let's go and throw some lures for these guys. We're going to select our, we're going to use our value cast. And I've got a three alt eagle spoon. And I've got a quarter ounce casting spoon. We're going to use this quarter ounce casting spoon first. Smaller pike like this casting spoon. And you're gonna wanna just do your fan casting. And you know, switch up techniques like use a slow twitch like that right there, and sometimes you'll catch a fish. Seems they want the twitch today. That's the biggest thing I can impart on you guys is you gotta let the fish tell you what they want. Looks like they really want this twitch today. So today's technique is twitch. I love how these smaller fish on this eight pound rod is just really, they just really fight. Hmm. There's a good one. just goes to show you you gotta let the fish tell you what they want I started with stop and go I ended with this twitch because it's catching fish there's another one they're coming off this first spot too and they're not very big I'm not gonna lie they're not very big at all but they're fun. Hmm. That guy right there's he hit it hard. Not very big though. Yeah. A little normal sized fish. And like I and like I said guys, you just gotta work your casts all up and down this weed line. There's pike all up and down through here. But this is our first section that we can get to from the bank. So now we're gonna go over here. 
to the other section you could always just use the use the map and come over here but you want to come right here you want to come right here at the end of this log and you want to throw this spoon right out there where that marker's at And we already found that the twitch and retrieve works. So now we just apply what we know from the other spot to this one. Hmm. What have I got here? What have I got here? We got something nice. Something real nice. Mm. What do we got here? Nice. That's great, guys. That's great. So we know that the trophy chain pickerel comes off of that spot. It's beautiful. And you're just going to want to twitch, 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 and there you go. There's a fish. This is great, guys. Can't beat it with a stick. Can't beat it with a stick. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There's one. They just love this twitch. They just love it. What have I got here? Huh? <laughs> Little perch. Little perch. So now that you've seen a sunny day before the peak, we're going to go, we're fixing to switch lures here, and we're going to see what happens if we walk a top water across the top of the water, obviously, during peak on this spot. So let's see what happens with that experiment. First, we got to check our peak. It says peaks around noon. So I'm going to adjust the time to noon. recheck the chart you see it's getting ready to peak we're gonna go over here on this rod here we're gonna go to her we're gonna go to her Walker and I've always had a lot of I've always had a lot of success with this bright colored Walker so now we're gonna walk it right across the same area we were twitching that spoon right here and for those of y'all that don't know how to walk it's twitch 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 nice and steady like just like we were twitching her bait. Give it a stop once in a while, pick it back up. A 
Look at that. Just gorgeous. First cast. Not very big, but definitely there. Now you can use the popper, you can use the frog popper. Matter of fact, the frog popper would probably be really good on top of those weeds. But just keep walking it through there. Walking or twitching it through there. All right. Now we bait. Now we went ahead with the other spots, and we uh, did some bait fishing on them. Now we're gonna do some bait fishing on this unique spot. Now this unique spot is between the weeds and that buoy, so I would just throw it right about there. You're probably asking me how I can see the weeds. Same thing, 30 inches deep, and just let it ride. trying an old school technique. Well, not really an old school technique. It's the same technique you, that has been used on the northern pike in Michigan the entirety of my time being in this game. There's one spot of lilies like that that produce constantly. So let's see if this is the same way. Well, something's over there chasing it. Something is over there chasing the hell out of it. You can see it moving. There he goes. There we go. Getting close to peak, so they're starting to pick up. You could use some lighter equipment for these guys, but I wouldn't advise it as far as like the pike go because I mean the six pound rod will handle them, don't get me wrong. And get full XP for them. But you're gonna have an easier time controlling them with this you know, with this Nero. And over here guys, the looks like that damn weed patch is the ticket. Looks like that weed patch is the ticket. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Bait fishing for these guys is a lot easier than using lures. guys this spot seems to have slowed down I see that's the thing don't sit on a spot too long you get a couple of fish real quick and then it slows down move we're gonna go back over here and do some uh, do some lure fishing Don't be afraid to move. Don't ever be afraid to change spots, change gear. The biggest thing I can impart upon you is that everything in this game as far as finding the fish, every single thing is relative. And what I mean by that is you have to let these fish tell you what they want. We we'll use a popper here. I'm pretty sure most of my subs know how to use a popper, but it's pop, wait, pop, wait. Pop it a couple times, let it rest. Keep an eye on that tension gauge and keep an eye on where that lure's at. Now 
There's a fish. There's a fish right there. Alright. It's a good one. Well, not really a good one, but a fish. A little two alt popper. Yeah, fishing peak is a lot different than fishing the early morning. Ooh, ooh, that's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Come on, get up here and jump for me. What do we got here? Beautiful little pipe. Beautiful, beautiful little pipe. Now the thing with a popper you got to remember is it works a certain area. So once you get out of an area that you think is not going to hold fish, don't pop it all the way back. Just reel it right in. I, like, for example, I've been catching them all about from right here to the weed bed. I won't fish much past right here. And finally, we're going to go back to the spoon that was doing the most for us. We're going to go back to a quarter ounce go uh, silver spoon and finish this up. Perfect. Perfect. Hmm. There's one. There is a nice little fish. Nice little fish. I think we ain't going to do much more damage than that today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please like and subscribe. Take care of yourselves. And as always, I'll see y'all on the water.